And now at five, a live look from the Frost Science Museum in downtown Miami, not far from Super Bowl Live. This is a weekend filled with concerts, events, and of course, the big game on Sunday. Sea turtles nest and hatch on our South Florida beaches all the time. They are a protected species, but they do get injured sometimes, needing rescue and rehabilitation. Some are rescued and released more than once. Well, that's the case with Miko, who is now recovering at the Frost Science Museum. Miko, uh, she's been here for about two months now. The newest aquarium resident at the Frost Museum of Science is getting on swimmingly, eating well and growing. She is not picky about anything. She does have favorites though. Squid is 100% her favorite. It's not uncommon for turtles to get into trouble and suffer injuries, but this young lady here is a three-peat. She had a, ten a tendency to uh, go after fishing line. Um, so she was actually rescued three separate times um, and put through rehabilitation uh, for fishing hook injuries, fishing line injuries. That third time she was deemed non-releasable. Turtles do have the capacity to be trained. You see, Miko has learned to respond to a dinner bell of sorts. She's able to uh, detect that sound, and that signals that it's feeding time. Turtles can move pretty quick when they have some good motivation. She's got a great big tank to enjoy with some company and no threats. A big turtle like Miko uh, is not something that the sharks want to risk themselves uh, by dealing with. Miko is likely in her early 20s and could live into her late 60s. For the aquarium visitors, she is quite the attraction. Very excited to have her. She's an incredibly charismatic turtle. And you see her interacting with guests from these windows um, when she surfaces to take breaths. Um, everybody loves her. Now, Miko came to the Frost Museum from the Florida Panhandle where she was rescued all three times. She is now a happy camper in downtown Miami. So